my job was every singular function that was done on the Apollo capsule from a mechanical standpoint, structural standpoint. They put the capsule, they vibrate it, then they put the forward heat shield around the capsule. And so when they went to pull it out, it wouldn't clear the work stand. So they brought in all the hummers. That's the, the guy in suits that go up there and say, hmm. And then they brought the uh, designers and they were also humming. And after a day and a half of hummers, uh, my friend uh, Jack Nolan said, Ernie, you got any thoughts? I said, I know exactly how to get to this. I've been studying it and I got an idea. And my plan was to cut the test stand in two, get the technicians to unloosen the bolts for the girders, move them over to the side, lift the stand with a crane, move it over to the side, put all that down, come pick up the capsule, move it over to the side and lift it out. Uh, this involved cutting the federal piece of property called a GSC work stand. My dad was a welder at work and he had taught us boys, I had three brothers, how to use all the tools of the trade. So I got a mask to prevent from getting hurt in the eyes and I got the torch and I torched that stand in two. And about four in the morning we liberated it, we put the stand back, we painted the top of it white, it looked just like it had uh, the whole time. When all the big guys on first shift showed up, they couldn't believe it. So then they said, well, what did you guys do? Well, it was sort of easy, you know. Once you knew what you had to do, Mr. Charlie Phelps from North American Aviation, he said, uh, guys, you did a wonderful thing. However, my associate project engineer here, Mr. Tony Casapoli, says, uh, you cut the test stand in two what time do they shoot us or whatever, you know. And they said, no, 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 you guys did well. I said, who told on us? Project engineer comes up, Ernie, when you guys painted the top, you forgot to paint the bottom. And it showed the black line where it had been cut through with a torch. I'm Ernie Reyes, and these are my untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.